Okay, so I have a really old Toshiba laptop. Like it has a here, like it has an Intel Core i3 and Windows 7. It should have, but I didn't have an SSD or an HD. I didn't have that. nothing. So I thought like, why not have some fun with it? Because it's really old and bad and just install SteamOS on it. Why not? Right? That's what I thought at least. So I got SSD and I got USB. So I think we're going to install Bezite. So yeah, let's try that. Okay, so here we are on my main PC and we're going to we're going to try and install Bezite. Let's see. Bezite. Download Bezite. Select your hardware. Uh, PC. It's like a desktop, right? A laptop. Other laptop. Select your primary GPU. Nay. I, I think. I think. It must be this, right? Okay, so it says it doesn't support it. That's a problem. That might become a problem, but let's see about that, right? Um, KDE, new users, download Bezite. Let's just let's try and see what it does. I have downloaded it with a Fedora writer this time instead of last time with Rufus and I'm hoping that it actually works now. So I'm gonna plug my keyboard back in. Yes! Okay. So this enter is still not working for some reason. Test is me to install. Only install Bazai. Okay. Looks promising. Looks really promising. Okay. Looks even more promising. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really ha happy if this works because like, it, I have the, I've had this idea for like a month or so, but I, I couldn't get myself to really film it because I had a bad camera and stuff. But then I just was like, why couldn't, why can't I use my phone? Well, I could, so yes, that's the problem, kinda. So now I finally am doing it, in English even, because I'm actually from, from the Netherlands, so from the Netherlands. It's a really weird name actually. But yeah, that's, that's it, that's kind of it, so. That's kind of why, yeah. Okay, so now we have Bezite. Uh, we'll sh we shall choose English. Okay, now I can actually. Is that a, see? I, do I see a bit of flashing on the screen? A little bit, huh? Huh? Yeah. That's really, that's too bad. Okay, so. So I think installation destination. Kingston US, yes. Yes, this is right. Okay, yes, done. Reclaim space. Yeah, reclaim space. Delete all. Reclaim space. 
it had Windows 7 on it or something, so I don't know. Okay, keyboard. Okay. User creation. Let's just do Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, all right. Username. Peter. Oh, all right. Oh, well, the R is just not working, right? Yes, that's what I thought. So that's the problem with this laptop, by the way, I, I think. Someone gave it to me and that's the problem. The keyboard isn't working fully or I have connected the cable back the right way, but I can just use external keyboard, it works. So yes, uh, password, let's just do, uh, yeah, let's do uh, gaming. Gaming, right, gaming, gaming. We're gaming. Because we are here for gaming, all right? Uh, keyboard's good, this is good. Network and host name. Mm. Let me check, let me check. I believe I do actually have extra ethernet connection do i or not i have three cables plugged in yes i do i think let me check real quick oh oh, 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 oh. okay so now let's have a look Yes. So, Ethernet, I have actually I used this for my Nintendo Switch one time and then I literally literally just disconnected the switch and never used it again. But we now have Ethernet, that's great. Begin installation. Okay. Okay. Seems promising, seems promising. I think the biggest problem is when it starts up, it has to Actually got it. Right? Let's do something. Okay, that's GG's. We actually got into the the at least the desktop, I think. Please, actually stay working. Come on. If it's the game, the like the game, it's it's really dark, uh, really too bright, right? Okay, so we are now actually in in the actual desktop menu at least so that's 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 re that's really great that like that's actually really great um now we will wait for 
uh, a, a tiny bit so like so that steam actually just is installed huh? okay so this is actually really cool by the way i've never really successfully installed linux i think yes ubuntu but it's like really really basic of course so i think this is actually the first time i even see like i even use fedora based linux and it is not the the like the greatest experience but like i mean it was mostly my fault i think especially for the one time i uh with it uh especially for the one time i just cancelled an installation and thought it was done because it didn't say nothing and uh after that it actually said it did it had installed everything everything so i was like yeah the fuck you mean it uh it should just work you know i haven't checked it though i actually didn't look into it okay, it's a 4x it's it's quad core Yes, it's a quad core. That's really great. 3.6 gigabytes of RAM is, of course, a little too low. So yes, an Intel HD group integrated. It's just really bad, but it doesn't really matter. I, th I think it doesn't, doesn't really, really matter. Okay, now I'm going to pause you for a second and log in. Okay, so we are now <coughs> in Steam, actually. <coughs> so that's great. <laughs> One problem is that I am not in the game mode, which I would like to. So I'm going to try and figure out how I do that. Okay, so I have downloaded a selection of games of which I think they should work or could work at least. So I'm going to try these games. I couldn't get MSC Afterburner to work. I couldn't find a substitute. So that's too bad. And wait a minute. Okay. So I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to start with Half-Life because I think it has the best chance at working. I'm sorry for the, if you hear the sound, even bad sound quality and video quality. But as I said earlier, I do not have a capture card and downloading OBS or something would stop the, per would like downgrade the performance like really, really much. So, okay. New, select difficulty, uh, choose medium. Play Half-Life. I think this is gonna run fine, it should at least. Yeah. Oh yes, 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 yes. We are actually here. Can I turn off the frame rate limit? I I don't know. Not in the settings probably. I don't think so. Too bad. Come on. Thank you. And have a very safe 
okay seems to be running just fine just below 60 even when i'm just sprinting around so that's cool Okay, okay. okay. So yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, I think 60 FPS is just... Hey, this is great, okay. This is just good, okay, so... Yeah, that's Half-Life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna play further, that's not needed. Okay, so now I'm going to pause you and see you at Half-Life 2. Okay, so we are at Half-Life 2 actually. So that's great. Come on, load in, load in. I mean, this should just work. This should work just fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Options. Gameplay normal, share video. Native, full screen. Full if available. They need a, uh, I don't think it's available though. Okay, everything is set to high automatically. Let's try that. I don't think this is going to work really good, but okay. See, this is what I meant. New game. Chapter 1, start new game. At least just load me in, come on. Then we'll skip left for that and we'll just go to counter strike and if this works it's i mean like it works then that's great that's great okay so counter strike didn't work e either and this is because i need vulcan vulcan shaders you know vulcan isn't available on this system because the system is literally is too bad so i mean that's the only thing I can make of it. And then this is the end of the video. It worked. It works with SteamOS. That's great. The game mode doesn't work also because Vulcan doesn't work. So if it had a better GPU, I might have been able to try something more.